Hi guys, welcome to another Divi themed video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today and it's actually supplied by Elegant Themes. We've got some little modules here with some text in them. I've got a little button underneath that when I click on it, it's going to show more text and the text is going to change to show less. When you click on it again, it's going to reduce back up and say show more again. Same with these down here. And this is actually designed by Elegance Themes and it's specifically for text modules. I've stylized my button a little bit here, but it's really easy to do and fantastic little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is revert this site back to how it was and I'll show you how it's all done. So I'm gonna enable my visual builder. And the code that we've used today is, as I mentioned earlier, supplied by Elegant Themes. And I'll put this link down below so you can copy and paste and do what you need to do. We're actually putting it in a different place than they tell you to, but I'll show you how to put it in the correct place for whatever your needs are. If we go back to this page, I've put all mine in a little code module down here. And that's fine if you just want to use it on the one page. If you want to use it site-wide, I'll show you exactly where to put it. And we've got some CSS code here, which I've opened some style brackets. And as you can see, plop the CSS in there, and there's a closing style bracket there. And we've got some JavaScript, so I've opened a script tag. And a closing script tag on the end. And put the script in there. Now I'm going to delete this module so it'll go back to normal. But I'll delete this whole row. And as you can see, we just got text modules with the full amount of text there on those. Great. Well, I'll just pause this and remove the class names I've used, and I'll show you exactly how to implement this on your site. Okay. I reset this, and what we've got on this page, if I flip to back end mode, it'll let you see a little bit easier. Hit the little purple button on the left hand side, we've got a little icon, wireframe view. Tag take us to the back end there. I've got in the top a heading with a text module and underneath that I've just got three text modules. Inside those text modules I put a little heading and just some text there. Okay to get this done today like I say we're going to go over to an elegant theme page here where they provided all the code for us and you'll find this link down below the video. So if we roll down here the first thing we see is some JavaScript. And if you want to use this effect site-wide on any text module on any page, we'll copy this into the head of the blogs. And I'll show you where to do that. I'm going to copy the script tags from the opening script tag, the closing script tag there, control C to copy. If we go back to our Divi site, let's get rid of that, go down to the dashboard, go down to Divi, theme options, integration, and here we can add the code to the head of our blog. I've already got some script there to create pop-ups. If you've got something in there, you can either scoot it down by using your return key, or you can go below and paste this below, just like that. Once you've put it in there, make sure and hit the save changes so that you get that little green check mark that we just saw there. Fantastic. Now, if we go back to the elegant themes, roll on down here, we've got some CSS code. And they're telling this, telling us to put this in the custom CSS of our site. So again, we want to, we want to select all of that from the opening dot right there of that class name, all the way down to that closing curly bracket at the end there. Again, control C to copy. We'll go back to where we were, which is in the theme options in the integration. If we go back to our general tab, roll down to the bottom, there's a custom CSS box right here. If we've got something in there, again, you can just slide that down, just hit return key and put it a few steps down. We can paste our new code in here. 
Now, I always like to give things a bit of a title so we know what things do if we want to undo this at a later date. It's always a good idea. So to create a title, just type forward slash, star star forward slash. Anything you write within those stars will not be read as code. So I'm going to say, show more toggle. And again, we want to make sure that we save the changes. You can either do it on the bottom with that little green button or at the top of the page, the green button up there. So make sure you hit it until you get the green little check mark. Great. Well, we've now got our code in there. So if we look back over here, if we roll back up the page here, right here it's telling us once we've added a text module, this is actually designed specifically for text module. I think I mentioned that earlier. It's telling us we've got to add a CSS class to our text module of Divi toggle text right there. We don't need that full stop on the end, just the Divi dash toggle dash text. So I'm going to copy that. Now that we've got all our code in and everything saved here, we can go back to the page itself. Let's just save this. And I'll refresh this page quickly. Okay. And once we're refreshed, and as you can see, we've got our long column of text here. And we've got a couple of medium ones here. Great. So to apply this, we just need to add the class name to each of these elements here. Or any element that you want to collapse. So let's go into one of these text modules. I'm going to hit the little cob. Over to advanced. CSS IDs and classes. Make sure you put it in the class name, not the ID. It will not work if you put it in the ID. As you can see, that's already shrunk that up. Now, on the back end, you're not going to see the show more or show less toggle there, but you will when we exit the visual builder. And also the default for this is 200 pixels tall. And it kind of fades out at the end there. If you want to change that, we can do that in the CSS. I go back to this page. If we go down to the CSS code here, there it is right on the second line, max height 200 pitch. You can make that bigger or smaller by changing that value. Obviously, down where you pasted your CSS code, which was down here. So it'd be right there. And they put a little note in there telling you that defines the height of your text module. So if you want to make it bigger, add some more to that. If you want to make it shorter, take some away. Great. Well, let's do the rest of these modules and I'll show you the result. And then I'll show you how you can actually customize your buttons or the actual toggle itself and change the icon if you wish. So we'll do the same thing for this one. Advanced CSS IDs and classes. Make sure you put it in the class. Similar for this one. And similar for this big one at the top here. Fantastic. Now let's save our page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Great. Well, as you can see, we've got a little toggle at the bottom. It just says Show More. Click on it. It's going to expand to show you everything in the text module. Text has changed to Show Less. Click on it again. It's going to go back up there and change back to Show More. Now, if you want to, you can change this text to anything that you want. And instead of having that little icon, you can change that icon to any of the elegant themes icons. That's really easy too. So let me show you how. Okay, to change that text to something that you might want to say, or learn more or whatever it is you want to say with yours. If we go back to our JavaScript, and we're in the Divi, and we put the JavaScript in the integration, I put mine down below here. If we look at the second and third lines of a script that we put in there, we've got show more and show less. Now you can change that to anything you want. Let's change it to read more and show less. Let's take those little dots away as well. And I'll show you if you want to, you can turn that into a little button or something like that. Make sure you don't cut off the little inverted commas there. That's really important. And again, once we've made any changes here, make sure that you save your changes. 
And we'll go back to our page. If I refresh now, it says read more without those dots. And when I click on it, it's going to say show less without those dots. Now, if you want to turn this into a button, really easy, you've got to do a bit of CSS coding. But any code I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it, modify it how you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to hit inspect. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays. If yours doesn't, then Google Chrome is a free download. Once the inspector's popped up, make sure you've got elements selected one side and you'll have HTML and styles tab on the other side and you'll have CSS. All right. Well, we're actually dealing with the Divi text expand button and we're using the span within it. And it's put that for us up here. So we can start changing the code here. So let's say we want a red background. We can say background, colon, red, or whatever hex code or RGBA code you want to put in. As you can see, that's given it a red background. We can change the padding quite easily by just left clicking, going down a line, we'll say padding. And if you give it one value, it'll give it that padding all the way around. Kind of makes it look like a little bit but a button. Or you can do each side individually. I think with the icon, we might do each side individually because it seems to have a lot more on the right side than the left there. So to do every side individually, I'm going to start off with five picks and it goes from top. It's like a clock. It goes top, then it goes right. So we'll do five picks right. Then it does the bottom. We'll do five picks bottom. And we'll give it a bit more on the left so that text is a bit more central. Let's say 15 pixels. Of course, this is entirely up to you, however you want to style your button. That's great. If you wanted rounded corners, you give it a border radius. Dash radius. Uh, let's give it perhaps six pixels. I think that's the default for Divi buttons, actually. Got slightly rounded corners. If you want them really rounded, like pill shaped or something, give it a high value, perhaps 50. Then you've got a pill shape button like that. I'm actually happy with the six pixels work for me. And I'd rather that text was white in color. So we can simply say color white, which in CSS is FFF. Great. Well, that kind of works for me. But of course, once you refresh this browser, that's going to go back to how it was just with the dark writing and the little icon there. So we need to make this permanent. I'm going to copy all of this from the closing curly bracket to the first dot of tick divvy toggle text right there. Control C to copy. And we'll go back to where our CSS was in the theme options. General. Go down to the bottom. Here's our toggle CSS. I'm going to go right down to the bottom of it before the next entry, which is right there. And if I put my cursor there, I'm going to drop down a couple. I'm going to paste that code in there and again, save the changes. Once we've got our little green check mark, we can go back. Now, if you wanted to actually change that icon from the one they've got there or even hide it, if we drop this down a little bit, It's got a span of class of Divi, Divi text toggle icon. If we click on that, we've got it over here. If you wanted to get rid of it, you could just say display colon none. And then we've just got our button. Of course, you'd want to alter your padding a little bit down here to make that button more. We could just use one entry of five probably, but we've got too much on the left hand side now of that 15 and we've taken that icon away i'm not actually going to do that that's just an option for you if you do want to do that just copy this from the dot all the way down to that curly bracket and paste it under our last entry save your changes here okay well i'm going to undo that and i'll show you how you can change that icon if you want to to any of the other elegant themes icons i've got another link over here and i'll put that down below as well it's got all of our icon Unicode references here, and here they are. 
Let's change it to perhaps, well, we'll change the first one to that down arrow and the second one to this up arrow, perhaps. So the first one, let's copy that Unicode right there. Now, when you copy it, you'll probably get that little semicolon on the end. We don't actually need that. Let's copy that, Control C again. This time, we're going to go back to our theme options. We have to update this in the script itself. So if we go back up to the top to our integrations tab, Here's our code that we just put in. And on the fourth line there, we've got Divi Expand icon and Divi Collapse icon. They've just got a three and a two there. I'm going to pop this Unicode in for our Expand. I'm going to put the Unicode in there. And again, make sure you do not cut off those inverted commas. And it's got that little semicolon on the end there. We don't need that. I'm going to just put my cursor in there and delete that one. And for the closing one, let's go back here. And I guess we'll use this one up here. Again, I'm going to copy that. Control C to copy. We'll go back. And I'm sure you know what I'm going to do. Paste it in between these semicolons here. There we go. And let's get rid of that semicolon on the end. And I'm, I'm going to say it again because I know I've said it several times. Do not cut off those inverted commas there. That's really important. Great. When you're done save changes okay well let's go back to our page now we'll get rid of the inspector tools when i refresh hopefully we shouldn't see any changes that icons are going to change though and there we have it we've got that double down arrow for our icon now we've got more of a button when we click on it It's going to expand and say show less. And we've got the little double up arrow as well. And like I say, I'll put this URL down below and this URL down below for the code. And I'll also paste that bit of CSS code that I used to modify that button down there for anybody that wants to copy and paste it. And that's a really nice little feature to have on your site. Great little space saver. And great little interactive feature for your readers as well. Gives them something to do. A lot of times if there's something to click on, people will click on it. As I'm doing now. Okay, well there we have it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you've enjoyed doing a bit of CSS coding today, have a look at our simple CSS playlist. Should pop up on the left hand side any moment now. And there's plenty of examples, most of which I've done for you, that you can modify your site with. If you've enjoyed this today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.